Here's how to make the best scrambled eggs recipe. They're so fluffy. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you're making eggs is to crack some eggs. So I'm gonna crack three eggs for my scrambled eggs with cilantro and a delicious garlic herb butter, but you could use any sort of, sort. <laughs> I hate when my accent comes out. <laughs> you can use any sort of butter that you would like. I do have a really delicious compound butter recipe on Sip Bite Go that is so good. It has um, all sorts of fresh herbs and garlic in it. So if you're the type of person who likes to take out these little white things, you can go ahead and do that at this point before scrambling the eggs. And then at this point, I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper before I even start putting in, uh, whisking it together. So here we go. I just found one more. I don't know why I take them out. I just always have, and I know people think that's weird. I forget what they are. That's cool. All right, so here goes some pepper. I have this really delicious salt. It's actually up in the Sipiko Amazon store, so um, you can shop this if you need some good salt. I'm just gonna kinda extra crush it as it goes into the eggs here because it's a little more coarse. You could use whatever salt you want and just really a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper cracked up in there is all you need. Okay, and now it's time to whisk. I'll leave you links to my Amazon storefront. You can shop the Sip by Co. Amazon storefront to get basic kitchen things that you might need. I have all sorts of cooking tools in there. So you can find the link near this video or you can find it on Instagram and my profile link, you'll see it. Or if you just go to sipbytego.com, you can get a link to my Amazon store. All right, so here's all the whisked up egg, yummy. And now it's time to go get it on a hot pan. All right, so I'm just gonna prep a couple other things I need for the eggs. I have this really delicious, they gifted it to me, the Minerva Dairy Garlic Herb Butter. So this is actually store-bought herb butter, but you could use your own herb butter or you can find the recipe on Sip Bite To Go, the food blog I run. So I have really good herb butter on there or you could just use regular butter and just use this recipe so I'm gonna take about a tablespoon for three eggs if I'm just doing one egg I'll do like you know a third of that or less but look how beautiful this butter is inside oh it smells really delicious it's gonna be so good all right so butter is one thing to set up the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice up some of this fresh parsley no, actually it's cilantro. I love cilantro on eggs. And all I did to the cilantro is I took a few stems in my fingers and I washed them in the sink. I rinsed them a little and then I squeezed them with paper towel so they dried before I diced them up. So they're pretty dry at this point. All right, so that's what I need to put on my eggs at the end. And now I'm all set to cook. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting the stove burner to about medium high. And then I'm dropping in that garlic butter or that garlic herb butter that you see right there. And that's all gonna just melt in the pan. And as soon as it's melted and starts to bubble, I'm gonna add in the eggs. All right, that butter is all nice and melted. It's starting to bubble. So I'm gonna add in the eggs. And then what you're gonna see is that the edges of the eggs in this beautiful um, nonstick pan, I should have mentioned, definitely use a nonstick pan to cook exactly like I'm doing here. This is about a 10 inch pan. It was actually gifted from Fistler, a company that makes cookware. But as you see, I'm just using a spatula to push it all around in the nonstick pan. And so I'm never really letting the eggs set as they cook. I'm just letting them pick up heat in some areas 
you see and then I push it and it's this beautiful beautiful just kind of it's coming together I don't know how to describe it but it's really beautiful it's kind of bubbling but oh my gosh at the end it starts going really really fast and so now when it gets to this point where it's super liquidy like this you actually should turn off the heat of the pan so leave it on the burner turn off the heat and keep moving it around because this is going to make really beautifully done eggs but okay see they're completely cooked they're just a little liquidy exactly like i like them so before they get too hot woo, my eggs have been cooked and i'm just going to slide them right into the plate oh i'm so hungry i'm so excited for these look how good that looks oh my goodness yummy 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 oh i'm so excited I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more of this salt. Again, you can find links to all of these products in my Amazon store. Just a little finishing salt. They have, they have a really good um, salt sampler, this brand that you'll see in my Amazon store. And then hit it with some of that. Ooh, look at that cilantro. Going on hot. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm so excited to dig in and try this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. This would also be really good with some red pepper flakes on top. Maybe I'll just throw in some diced pepper actually. I have this awesome snapware thing. I was making a charcuterie board earlier, which you can find on Sip Bite Go. Some ideas for that, but I do have some diced red pepper. It's fine even just raw like this will be so tasty all right that looks really good all right now I think I'm officially done <laughs> that looks great mm -mm -mm. wow look at that beautiful I love just really simple eggs. That garlic butter is going to be so tasty because all the garlicky flavor is going to be in there. And then the red pepper will just be this really nice bite of freshness. Ooh, that looks so good. Look at that. Yummy. You can print out the full step-by-step -step recipe at Sip Bite Go. Until next time, have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers.